My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I am very sure that when Father Dante was ordained 25 years ago, he did not know that he will celebrate his Silver Jubilee in the Gupan. I am quite sure about that because he did not know many things also. He did not know where the church would send him. He did not know the people he would later on. But I want to assure you, Father Dante, that even if you did not know 25 years ago that your silver year as a priest will be held at the cathedral in the Gupan, God knew. Even before God created the sun, the moon, and the stars, even before God created the mountains and the hills and the seas, even before God created the first man and woman, even before everything else, God already knew on the palm of His hands that on the 27th of July, 2021, you will celebrate your silver year as a priest in the Archdiocese of Lingen, the Gupan. In other words, this is not your planning. This is God's planning. Because your vocation was not born in Santa Cruz. Your vocation was born in heaven, sent to us by God. Even if the life of a priest is about heavenly things, Father Dante has been living out that priesthood his feet flat on the ground. And uh, being, being here on earth, living heavenly realities, celebrating heavenly mysteries, Father Dante comes to the altar of the Lord with the same spirit 25 years ago to say thank you. What can we say but thank you? How can I make a return to the Lord for His goodness to me? Thank you not only to you, dear friends, who have come here to celebrate, but thank you even more for family, for loved ones, for mission companions, for confers who cannot be with here, you cannot be with us here physically, but are certainly here with us through the years. Thank you. Thank you to the Blessed Sacrament community. Thank you to the De La Salle community. Thank you for the other people we have met along the way. Everything is grace. If we can celebrate the Eucharist once in our lifetime, that would be a blessing enough. But Father Dante has stopped counting how many Masses he has celebrated how many sins he has absolved, how many blessings he has imparted. As the blessings of the Lord are infinite, the thanksgiving of man will also be infinite. But our second reason for gathering this morning after thank you is to say, I am sorry. Father Dante is here to say, Lord, I am sorry. Please forgive me. Is there any priest who has never felt laziness? Is there any priest who has never been, tempta who has never been tempted? Is there any priest who is always obedient? Is there any priest who is always chaste? Is there any priest who is always zealous and never lukewarm? Is there any priest who has never gotten angry? Is there any priest who has never entertained unkind thoughts, impure thoughts, violent thoughts against others? Is there any priest who has never fallen? The answer to all my questions is there is none. Even the Pope admits that, that he is a miserable sinner and yet in his misery he has been called. So the Jubilee is also an opportunity after thanksgiving to say, Lord, I am sorry for the blessings wasted, 
for the opportunities taken for granted, for the graces that I deprive people of. There is no priest who is perfect, including the bishop talking to you right now. That is why we need the sacrament of reconciliation. That is why we need God's mercy. That is why we also need this jubilee. Because this jubilee is not just to remember the goodness of God. This jubilee is also to ask God, Lord, quits na tayo, jubilee naman. It is to ask the Lord, Lord, forgive me. It is a jubilee year. Lord, forgive me. Lord, have mercy. And every day of his life, celebrating the Eucharist, Father Dante says, Thank you, Lord. But at night, he also says, Lord, I am sorry. Lord, forgive me. Lord, have mercy. At every examination of conscience, at night prayer, before we lay to bed, we always say to the Lord, Lord, it was a perfect day because you blessed me, but it has not been a perfect day because I spoiled it. It is a perfect day because of your love, but it has not been a perfect day because of my miserable condition as a priest. I say that, and I am sure Father Dante says that, and I am sure every priest says that, because every day should be an opportunity for thanksgiving, but every day is an opportunity to also say, Lord, forgive. But our third reason for gathering this morning is a very simple word, please. Please, Lord, as you blessed me for the past 25 years, please, Lord, if, as you called me even before time began, please do not get tired of me. I am work in progress. Please, Lord, hear my prayer so that I may be faithful I may be obedient, I may be chaste, I may be poor, I may be simple, I may be an ardent and gentle apostle of the church. To say please is to recognize that the priest is helpless without the Lord. To say please is to recognize that it is only by the power of the Lord that we can attain our goals. Three simple words for you, Father Dante, as you celebrate your silver jubilee as a priest. Thank you. I am sorry. Please. If you look at those three words, my dear brothers and sisters, those are the three simple words that lead us to heaven here on earth. There is no saint who does not know how to say thank you. There is no saint who does not know how to say, I am sorry. There is no saint who does not know how to say, please, Lord, I need your help. Our help is in the name of the Lord and only in that name. Thank you for 25 years. We look forward with hope to 30, to 40, to 50, to 60, to forever. Father Dante, thank you. Thank God for you.